And if you have an introduction of a bed bug, it now has a place to live. Reproducing is a lot more complex. If you have just one singular male that comes in, it's not gonna reproduce. Now, if you have what's called a gravid female, which is one that's been mated, then they, as soon as they get a blood meal, then they can start popping out eggs. And then we're looking at roughly four to six weeks for those eggs to then become adults to where then, then they can start reproducing as well. They can only reproduce if they've been mated or have the capacity to be mated after it, but they require a blood meal. So if you introduce them to an area but there's no place for them to, no, if there's nothing for them to feed on, then they cannot reproduce. It is, a blood meal is required for reproduction. From egg to adult takes roughly six weeks. So you have the egg, then you have the five instar stages, which are like the babies to teenagers, and then you have the adult stage. Bed bugs can only reproduce in the adult stage. So if I was gonna say that you, from an introduction to reproduction, it all depends on the number of bed bugs that have been introduced, and if it's male or female, and at what life stage are they at. Um, so if you're youngest to oldest, six weeks or so, but if you already have one that's been introduced or a mated pair, you can start reproducing within the week. After, if bed bugs have been mated and had a blood meal, they can start laying five, maybe six eggs a week. So if you've got one adult, six eggs laid over the course of a week, six weeks later, now you've got potentially seven bugs. Six weeks later, now you've got 36 bugs, hypothetically. And it's just, and, but you've also got the ones that are, the, the ones that are already established still laying eggs for that time period.